What's happening, y'all? J.R. Raymond back again, coming to you from Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center inside Waterford Lanes, and we're going to take out that new Phase AI. Everybody's waiting for this one, I know. It's, I'm a little late on it. I uh, had a lot of other stuff going on with the new products, the new affordable quarter scales, which you can see those over at 10pendoctors.com. They are sold out right now. I will be making more, and we'll get those to you, uh, along with some other products that I'm making for you. But uh, we've got the, the the Phase AI, and I did the uh, the 45 by 5 by 45 a little bit longer pen here just to see what I can do. So we're gonna take this new one with the new core technology out here on a typical 42 foot lead condition. We're gonna see what she's got here in a minute, so stay tuned. They say bowling is a dying sport. A dying sport. <laughs> I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. BowlerX.com for the love of bowling. All right, here we go. Let's take out. If you guys haven't seen these yet, these are the uh, the portable pro sec or portable quarter scales that I've made. They will be available more. I sold fifty of them. I put fifty of them out there so that way. People could get them. I wasn't sure how many would sell, and they sold out in two days. So um, more will be coming with color options and everything else. So be on the lookout for that. But we're going to take this Phase AI out here and see what it's got. Um, I haven't thrown it yet. It hasn't gone on the lane once yet. So let's start a little bit straighter. See what it does as we move left. Oh, miss left. That one sounded like it was like, that was so weird. I wish you guys could hear that. But as it revved up going down the lane, it sounded like it was a bomb about to go off. Hey, a house ball. Ooh, two house balls. Let me throw that one again. Since that one kind of loosened me up a little bit. Ooh, that's clean. That's clean, but we're on, uh, this does have some transition on it. From yesterday, I did some reviews here, so we'll see what it does as, it, as we go left. Everybody I seen throw this thing look like it was whippy, like it went crazy down lane. So it's kind of what I'm hoping for, kind of what I'm looking for. Something a little bit sharper, a little bit more responsive. There it is. There's the response. That one picked up. So I threw quite a few shots here yesterday playing that 7, 8, 9, 10 range. So that's probably why that first one didn't quite pick up very well. But let's move left now. So we're going to go to 30. Try to kind of go around it a little bit. Rotate it just a little bit. Nothing nuts. Definitely needs more rotation than that. That's a little too forward. A little too forward, but it still struck. You can see how responsive it was down lane. It's definitely quick, a little bit quicker response ball than some of the last few reviews that I've done. I'm gonna move another five left and try to rotate it just a little bit more. All right, that's nasty. That's pretty dirty, pretty dirty. I like the way that picked up. I changed my finger pitches again though, so my tilt isn't as high as what it was. It's come back down now. And so now it's gonna make it see the lane a little bit sooner, which is whatever. It's probably what I need anyway. My ball never strikes. <laughs> so we're gonna go five more left, try to rotate it more. Whoa, whoa, there's a half a loaf. That's five, folks. That one never saw the lane. 
I'm really hoping it's not like the original phase two for me because that's that's what I saw out of the original phase two was the uh, the over under. The new ones are good because they're stronger covers. But the original one just seemed like it either never hooked or overhooked. So we're going to try that again. Oh boy, off my leg. That's not going to hook. You can't throw it off your leg and expect it to hook. I mean, you can. It's just not going to work very well. I'm sure on a fresher condition, it would look a whole lot better down lane, but I kind of like seeing them when they're, when the lanes have got some shots down them. It kind of tells you what the ball's really capable of doing because most bowling balls look good when they're, when the lanes are fresh. All right, try that again. That's better. It's not as quick response as what I've seen other people have this ball. Other people from this part, it would like get to the back part of the lane and go crazy sideways. And again, that could be just because I'm bowling on some transition. Let's try it again. I'm gonna really try to rotate one here and get a little slower just to make it pick up. There you go. All right. Rotation. It likes rotation. It definitely wants to be spun down the lane. It likes to use that. But to be fair, I'm not exactly a guy that has high rotation to begin with, so I lose a lot of rotation as the ball goes down the lane. I'm going to go back right a little bit, get to the middle part of the lane. Flat tire, flat tire. I'm having a hard time on thinking of like situationally when I would use this ball, you know? Cause it's, it's really, cause if we're in transition lanes and it's not quite picking up enough, but it's supposed to be a higher response ball. I don't know when I would use it. See, so that's putting a little bit more rotation on it, which gets it to float further right into the dry and then it overreacts. So, I don't know. I mean, shape wise, it looks okay. It's not exactly striking, but it looks all right. Yeah, as long as I get it started sooner. Every time I try to play the down lane hook, if I try to get it to go down lane and then hook, it's too far. It doesn't, it won't strike from there for me. But as soon as I try to get it started quicker, it looks a lot better. So this might be one where I might need to touch the surface just a touch, get it to start a little bit quicker than what it normally is with out of box. See it like that. As long as I throw it to the friction, let it start up, it's good to go. So, all right, y'all, that's all I got for you. That's the, uh, that's the AI, the phase AI. Make sure to head over to the link in the description and get yours today. They're over at BowlerX.com. Sign up for the memberships for BowlerX.com to get your discounts on the things that you want from BowlerX.com. Uh, head over to 10pindoctors.com. Uh, check out all the products that we have over there as far as training devices and tools. Those are more are coming. Those affordable quarter scales, more are coming for that. So make sure to be on the lookout for that. I might start a waiting list uh, for the next batch. So I might have uh, Max put on a waiting list that you can put your name on it. So that way you get one of the first ones that come out. So make sure to head over to easybowlingstats.com. Sign up for the new app. Um, but that's all I got for you. So until next time, we'll see you guys later.